Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're continuing going through the full foundation Maths GCC papers from 2023. This is paper one, question 15. And this question is about fractions. We're going to work out 6 over 7 times 5 over 12. Now one way to do it is just to multiply across 6 times 5 over 7 times 12, which is 30 over 70 plus uh, 12. 14 is 84, 15 over 42, they're both multiples of 2, both multiples of 3, um, and here, well, 42, divide that by 3 and I get 5, divide 42 by 3, I get 1, and 4, I get 14. Now, that's absolutely fine, but I find a much simpler way of doing it is cancelling factors first. So you can see I started to struggle a bit with these bigger numbers, even if they're just 42. Six, one lot of six there, two lots of six there. So I can cancel straight away and I get five over 14. So both methods are absolutely fine, but I always find that cancelling, keeping the numbers small, makes it much easier. And it's worth two marks. Either way works fine. Okay, uh, question 16. Here's the list of ingredients for making 20 biscuits, 150 grams butter, 100 grams sugar, 250 grams flour. And they want to make 60 biscuits. So this is for 20. How do I get to 60? I multiply by three. So I'm going to multiply each of these by three. That'll be 150 times three is 450. That'll be 300 and that'll be 750. And uh, they've just asked how much flour so just that one, I've got a times by three, and I get 750. It's a non-calculator paper, so I had to uh, work that out uh, by pen or paper, uh, by pen and paper, and we managed to do another two marks in under two minutes. Okay, so fractions, as I say, multiply across, or I prefer cancelling, and simplify that as far as you can, because it does say in its simplest form. There are no more common factors there, um, but I could divide that side by two and that side by three, or six if you can do it like that. And then here, just scaling up a recipe from 20 to 60 is timesing by three, so timesing each of those by three. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and good luck for those writing exams.